So it's been two months now that we are here in our new space and this vlog is all about the move that we had that lasted for about three months. This is more of a recall of what happened because obviously in that period our headspace was so different and not really thinking of documenting everything but we have tried our best to really share the story we have used the three months of uncertainty to plan for the next step re-strategize and also just relooking of what we've been doing for the past five years right after the chinese new year that was when the hunting of the new space begun. While we were waiting for the new space, we acknowledged that obviously it was a shocking news for everyone. Uh, no one was able to prepare on their swap schedules. So we were so blessed and lucky to have the Green Collective who had offered us a small space at Funan where we can use it for the drop-off to provide the service even if it was very limited and very restricted. We had to juggle many things while we're having the pop-up at the Green Collective. Clothes that we have was in a storage in Braddle which we were so grateful also for that special person who have offered us on the 13th space which is where we are now that we have found like you know what this is the space for us so because this space was previously a gym so we also didn't know that we have to ap actually apply for the change of use um, at ura which also took some time for us to get the approval for the use of retail it was important for us to organize a town hall because it, it felt like it was a fresh start for us and really get the opinions and suggestions and feedbacks from you guys so we can incorporate that in the next step. So it was a bit of a rush. The space wasn't actually that ready yet. So we had to like ensure that the aircon was working, the lights were working, the electricity because we have to transfer also the name so there was just a lot of back and forth um, in trying to secure the space. So after everything was secured, like the approval from URA, the aircon was fully functioning, the lights were fully functioning. So we then now have to schedule the unboxing of the, of the clothes that we have. So after two weeks of sorting the clothes, which was a lot of things to do, and it was made possible with the 50 volunteers that came down to help us. So we have been sorting for almost a week now, and this is actually our very first time to go through all the pieces that we have collected. For over five years now and it's a good way for us to check the pieces that we have been collecting because for example this piece um, this has been from Liang Court days because this specific thread we've used this only in Liang Court so this has been in the storage for five years so at least this way we get to see the clothes that we have collected and sort them farther of those pieces that we will display for play date and pieces for the fashion pulpit and pieces that has you know had stains and stuff like that that we will be donating so we have two more piles to go um, before we finish and hopefully um, we finish it today so we can start arranging the whole shop So 
So finally, finally, we are in our last pile that feels forever also to sort. But I'm just so happy that we're done sorting so we can move on to the next to-do list. I mean, the next task. Um, now we have to focus on the curation, this the also making sure that the space is presentable. So we reached out to Gash, which is like ever so supportive. So when we decided that like, okay, we need to paint the space, I reached out to them and they happily supported the idea. And if you can see in the space, um, we have different colors and obviously purple. because we're done cleaning, sorting, and a bit of arranging. So this is the space now. Um, so we're just waiting for help who can help us um, carry all this heavy stuff because we are doing the setup tonight and today is Monday. That is four days before we open. Um, we're kind of excited to see everyone again and have this space filled up with people, with um, swappers and of course clothes. So here we are. Um, after almost a month of doing and packing, it was all dirty if you've seen the space before. Now it's looking like a space for swapping. And look at our contents. Our very one of a kind artwork. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the changing room. We will have the big mirror here and we probably have a couch or whatever. Um, the changing room is made by Re-X Store, um, made out of upcycled uh, materials, so we can wait to have them in the shop. And then, obviously, the furniture that we have. The light. And obviously, the furniture of uh, our longtime partner, uh, Gallery 278. They will be also providing us some couches, I mean sofas and also the shelves and stuff like that. So when you enter, you will see the front, the reception. And obviously we're gonna incorporate some carpets to the big space so it's more cozy. And yeah, I think in between you will just say racks. You will just see a lot of racks, 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 racks. And Today is the day we are opening the fashion pulpit and we're doing a last minute of a lot of things. Um, now we are going to do the sneak peek to give you an idea of what's in the store. So we'll see you here and we still have a lot of things to do. We're excited to welcome you guys. And that's it. Bye. After work. And we would like to take this opportunity as well to thank everyone who have helped us in that very difficult, challenging, 
an easy and I would say insightful transition that made it possible of where we are right now. You guys know who you are and we would forever be grateful for those help and so excited and just so anticipating of what we can do in this space. Though the fashion pulpit is open now, we are still working a lot of things behind the scenes. Like for example, uh, relaunching the online swap, preparing all the workshops that we have been coordinating in the past few weeks, activation programs, and of course, collaboration with different companies in the neighborhood or outside the neighborhood. So there's a lot of things to be excited about in the upcoming months.